So I got the iPhone 7 yesterday and one of the best features of this is actually being able to shoot RAW in the Lightroom app and then collecting stock for your compositing just through the iPhone. So I wanted to show you. First of all, you want to download the Lightroom app from the App Store. And when you get that, what you also need to do is hook up Lightroom Mobile in Lightroom, which I'll show you as well. So you do need to be able to sync between the Lightroom app and between Lightroom. So that's really important. Make sure you've got Creative Cloud. Now with this, I can actually take a photo in my phone. And the benefit of this is really that I can collect stock using my new iPhone, which is 12 megapixels, and I can have it upload directly to the Creative Cloud, sync to my Lightroom catalog, and have a bunch of stock that I normally wouldn't have because I don't carry my camera, my main DSLR, with me all the time. But you always have your phone with you. Okay, so in Lightroom, you have the option to shoot DNG, which is actually raw. And you can edit that in the Lightroom app, on your phone, or on Lightroom itself. So when you shoot DNG, you've got full coverage with exposure, white balance, everything you want to edit. So that is the benefit of RAW. And of course, the new iPhones being 12 megapixel mean that you've got a lot of pixels to play with. Now, for example, if I wanted to photograph the sky and use that in my stock images and then mix that with an image from my 5D Mark IV, which is 30 megapixels, I might take two or three shots next to each other and I could actually merge them together, creating the same resolution that I'm using on the 5D Mark IV. So for the most part, clouds, skies, grass, textures don't need to be the same quality as the main elements in your composite that you're shooting with your DSLR or mirrorless camera. It's really important when you're in Lightroom that you're actually connected to the cloud and that you are set up to sync with Lightroom Mobile. Up the top of your screen here, you will see uh, the drop down and you'll be able to sign in to your username and password for Creative Cloud. Once you've signed in, you will then see down here the different images that you've taken on your phone. Now they might take a little while to sync up depending on your connection. My connection is pretty slow, so it does take some time. They, these are DNG files, they're raw, so they're pretty big. But once they're in, they're actually sorted in the folders that you've put in your mobile, in your iPhone. Now if I want to move this particular image into a different folder called grass, just if I want to differentiate, you can, you can actually sort them here. So I can create a new collection, call it grass, it includes the one that I had selected, so now I've got grass, skies, textures. I can remove this from my textures folder or I can leave it in there as well. Sometimes I like to have images in multiple folders so I can find them. The other thing that I've set up on here, my Smug Mug galleries and the ability to sync to Smug Mug so that my final images are actually saved online. So at the moment I've got the textures set up there. So if I want to create the extra folders here for Smug Mug to upload to, I just need to create a smart gallery. I'll call this one Grass. I'll choose Collection, Contains and Grass. Click on OK. The next thing that I can do is one for the skies. So again, create smart gallery, skies, collection contains skies. Now down here, you might want to change your visibility. So at the moment, it's got visibility public anyone. I actually want this unlisted and I'll go back and change the other ones as well. This can be changed on Smug Mug too. So if I go back to the grass, I can edit the Smart Gallery, I can change this visibility to unlisted and it will automatically upload and back up to Smugmug. 
So now anytime I add stock to these particular folders, automatically Lightroom will upload these to SmugMug. So I'll always have a backup of my images ready for compositing anywhere that I am in the world, which is awesome. So not only do I have them in Lightroom and in the cloud, I also have the finished images ready in SmugMug as a backup. The possibilities are endless with this. You can use these images in your compositing. It's amazing what you can do with iPhone photos, especially now with the quality of the latest iPhone.